Hey, I'm Rich. We're at the Zeiss booth, Cinegear 2017. And on display in our booth is a wide range of lens solutions for cinema, from uh, basically entry-level video up to really high-end cinema applications. Um, so the nice thing is we got a variety of solutions regardless of the camera platform. Uh, the Loxia 21, great manual focus lens for full-frame E-mount cameras, like the A7R2, the A7S2, FS5, FS7. Uh, small, lightweight, four lenses in a family. You can pop on our lens gears with this. It becomes a very kind of a nice, flexible, easy to use kit. We'll do three and four lens bundles. And kind of looking at a four lens bundle with gears for under $6,000. So very affordable, great lens solution. Of course, it's nice quality. For uh, EF mount, for DSLR, and certainly the uh, entry level EF video cameras, our Otis lenses and Nilvis lenses are an excellent solution. Uh, again, manual focus, long throws. We can drop our gears on it. Uh, gives you really nice focus control on uh, these large sensor cameras. Of course, on our zoom line, our compact zooms have been very popular uh, because like our compact primes, this is uh, future-proofed in that the lens mounts are interchangeable. We've got full-frame coverage and three zooms in the family that cover uh, 15 millimeter up to 200. Great value. Uh, lenses are priced between twenty dollars and $25,000 each. You can get a three-lens kit for under $60,000. So uh, a great solution for rental houses. At IBC last year, we introduced the lightweight zoom, 21 to 100. Covers a Super 35 sensor, T29, uh, weighs about four and a half pounds. Just a really nice, affordable solution for both cinematic and ENG style solutions. And I'm really happy to, uh, to show at Cinegear this year the, the brand new CP3s. Two different versions of the lens. I've got the standard CP3s, there's uh, 10 lenses in the family, 15 millimeter up to 100. These will actually start shipping next week in a five lens set. And I've got the new CP3 XD. What's interesting about this lens is that it's the first time we've incorporated metadata. So we're using the eye technology from Cook. We're transmitting the basic metadata, which is uh, T-stop, focus distance, serial number, uh, focal length of the lens on every single frame. So you don't have to worry about uh, recording notes. Every single frame you have this, this information. And what we're adding to this is Zeiss's own extended data, what we call XD. This one's going to allow the filmmaker to correct for vignetting and lens distortion. We can correct on a director's monitor, or you'll be able to correct in post with a plug-in software we'll do for post-processing software like the DaVinci Resolve. Uh, so it's a new sort of workflow for filmmaking. No one else is doing this with cinematic lenses right now. Again, 10 lenses in the family, still full-frame coverage, still interchangeable lens mounts. If I pull the PL mount on, which has the four-pin connection, we're going to grab the metadata through the 4-pin uh, Limo port on the side. We're going to use the Ambient Master Locket Plus as the recording device. These will start shipping in September. Uh, price points are going to run on the standard CP3s about $400 more than the CP2s. So you're going to be looking kind of around $4,400 to about $6,000. And uh, CP3 XDs will be about another $1,400 more on top of that. So for more information about our lenses, go to the Zeiss website www.zeiss.com forward slash cine. Thanks.